what fixes are mandatory after a home inspection and we're going to get started right now. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rodney. This is Ellen Lawless. We're realtors here in Charleston, South Carolina. And we're going to be talking about what, what fixes, fixes are mandatory after a home inspection. Now, of course, each of this, each of these vary by state and according to how your contract is written. Here in South mm -hmm. Carolina, we're going to be discussing how it's written here. We advise you to speak to your realtor and discuss further. That's right. So the, here in South Carolina, the mandatory fixes, now this could be a, um, the repair procedure part is another negotiation part of it, so, but this is gonna be the mandatory fixes that they have to do. So there is number one, oh there's what, seven? Okay, seven, seven of them. <laughs> So number one is going to be the HVAC. The HVAC has to be operable. Your inspector will check that and make sure that it's running correctly. Electrical systems has to be operable. Plumbing systems. And we're not talking about as his property. This is property that is you're under repair procedure. Uh, plumbing systems need to be operable. The water supply needs to be operable. Water waste, we don't need to go any further with that, it needs to be <laughs> operable. Any problems with that, trust me. <laughs> and the roof, they need to provide a roof that is free of leaks. Now, if it's not raining, how do you know if the roof is leaking? Your home inspector is going to obviously go climb up in the attic, going to take a look. If it's leaking or been leaking, it's going. there is going to be evidence of a leak. Your home inspector should have a moisture reader, be able to see if there's moisture present in any locations where he, see, he or she sees evidence. Obviously, if it's wet, there, there's, a, it's a, there's a problem. Um, the last thing is environmental concerns. Now, depending on where you're at in the country, here in South Carolina, and especially in Charleston, the low country, we deal a lot with mold. So obviously, humidity. yeah, a lot of humidity, crawl spaces, you're gonna deal with a lot of mold. So you, <clears throat> they have to address the environmental concerns, which includes mold, radon. I know up north they deal with radon. Asbestos uh, and any kind of uh, lead-based products, lead-based paint, and I don't know about where you're at, but here in South Carolina, there's a whole form we have to do for a home that was built 1978 or, or earlier. So that way, uh, we cover the lead-based paint with right. that. We just want to uh, make sure that you reach out to your realtor yes. in your state, and if you're in South Carolina you know just go over that form with them the like we said this is south carolina specific hope this helps you and if it has please watch the video that we did last week on how to increase your home value and please subscribe to this channel subscribe, subscribe like this channel <laughs> and ring that little bell we put out new videos every week have a good one y'all